Les from Delta here with the Fisher MMS PC2. Let's talk about how to calibrate this. So for calibration, we're going to start from the application that you're using. Uh, if you're running multiple applications, each one needs to be calibrated individually. Once you know how to do it once, you can do it for any of them. And you can calibrate based upon your different options. So we are going to grab our little stylus. If you don't have your stylus, any standard retractable pen will work as well. Uh, just obviously make sure that the point is retracted. We're going to come up here to calibration and we want to do a corrective calibration. And what a corrective calibration does is it changes and corrects how the unit measures your coating on the substrate that we've put our coating on. Today, we're gonna do this with magnetic induction. Process is exactly the same for eddy current when we're doing any of our non-ferrous metals. Select calibration. How do we wanna calibrate? Do we wanna use one or two standards? If you have the option of doing two standards, do two standards. You want to have two standards that are outside of your desired coding specifications. So for our purposes today, we're going to say that our coding specs should be somewhere between 1.5 and 2.5 mils. I'm going to work in mils just because that's how this unit's already set up. So what I've got for calibration is I have a 0.9 or essentially one mil foil, and then I have a three mil foil. That's just outside of the range that we're looking to do. So we're gonna hit okay. And the first step that is gonna ask for is to measure N times, N being however many times you want, on your base material. And it reminds you that we're doing steel. Uh, I just have a nice little piece of cold mill steel here. If you have an uncoated piece of substrate, use that. I like to measure five times. It's a nice, good average number. So one, two, three, four, and five. And now we're going to say continue. So the first standard is going to be our low standard. You could do the high standard, but just to make sure that we do everything in the right order and get everything in correctly, I like to work from low to high. So again, we're going to take five measurements. One, two, three, four, five. And now up top, we want to make sure that this number matches this number on our standard. So down here on the little touch screen, we're gonna back this up and make this point nine. Continue. Now we're gonna repeat the process for our second high standard. One, two, three, four, five. Make this number match this number. Again, make sure that you're inputting the right units. So if we're in mils, we're inputting the mils number. If we were in microns, we would input that number. I'm gonna hit continue just to show you what happens next. This will actually give you a full report of everything that you did. Depending on how stringent your quality plan is, you may want this as part of your log. That's entirely up to you. If you want to, you can either hit print or store. We don't need it, so we are going to hit finish. So now, in theory, we are calibrated, but 
we want to make sure and now this is a very good way to do a daily verification we are going to take a foil that is now right in the middle of our range so i got a 1.91 and we're just going to take a couple measurements on this to make sure that our calibration was correct Again, just doing five measurements, just for the sake of getting a fairly decent sized batch of numbers. And you can see each reading was about 1.9, which is really good. The mean value of those five measurements that I took was 1.88. We're in calibration. Les from Delta, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our calibration and equipment solution videos. Video didn't answer your questions, that's okay. Click the link below, go to our website, you can contact us through there or our Facebook page.